Number 12, letter A. Given that the angle between the ray in the water and the perpendicular to the water is 25 degrees, using information in the figure, find the height of the instructor's head above the water. Okay. So uh, take a look at number 10. We already calculated some of these values. Uh, this number here is given in the problem. It's 25 degrees. This angle then up here, we already calculated that. That's going to be 34.3. If you want to see how to do it, check out number 10. All right. So now what we have to do is uh, they're asking us to now find the height of this instructor's head, okay, above the water. In other words, they want to find... So we'll assume that, uh, you know, this is going to her eyes there, but we'll assume that the line goes all the way, I guess, to the top of her head because we don't know exactly the distance between her eyes and the top of her head. Maybe we can use an estimate, but, you know, I, I don't know what to estimate there. So I hope you get the idea. So in order to do this, right, we have a right, oh, look at this, right triangle, right? You know this side. Do you know any other angle in there? Sure you do, right? You know this angle, okay? So what should that angle be then? What do you think that angle is? Okay, what do you think? Well, it should simply be now 34.3 or 90 minus that value, I should say. So 90, 90 minus 34.3. So there's about 55.7. So there's about 55.7, okay? All right, now, what we need to do here is we're going to... <clears throat> We need to just do some tr simple trigonometry. This is the side you want. This is the angle you know. You got the opposite and the adjacent. Oh, tangent, right? This has to be like the back of your hand now. Tan of the angle is opposite side over the adjacent. If I'm solving for the opposite, simply multiply then the tan of the angle by the adjacent side. Tan then of the angle of 55.7 times then 2. So the opposite side here will be equal to, or my x basically. So let me just plug in this is all x's. Let's do it. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode. So, good. Tangent <clears throat> of 55.7 times 2. So this works out to be about 2.93. By the way, I'm using a rounded value. If you want to go back and do the calculations, find that exact number, go for it. Okay? This is in meters. But this will be close enough. Um, all right. So that takes care of the dot, the person the instructor's head okay letter b find the apparent depth of the diver's head below the water as seen by the instructor all right so basically um this is the whole idea this instructor this instructor here so why don't we just erase this now little stuff because we really don't need that anymore okay let's simplify the picture a little bit you know this this instructor is seeing light coming from the diver um that has this angle to it that has this angle. Now the instructor does not know that the angle here is bending, okay? All the instructor knows is that whatever light she's seeing is coming from like this angle, okay? So the instructor actually perceives the diver to be here instead of here, okay? So the depth is different, right? Now this will help you if you go fishing. Well, if you go fishing with like a sphere, a sphere? A spear. A spear. I don't even know what I'm saying. If, if you go fishing with a spear, right, you're going to see the fish here, but the fish is really deeper. Okay? So, anyway, what's the apparent depth of now this diver? Okay? This depth. This is what we want to know. Okay? The apparent depth. So this is my X. All right? Okay, so let's try to find the depth here. So in order to do this, let's just change this to a Y, all right? Because we're kind of talking about depth, right? Now, according to the picture, you know, he or she is basically moving a little bit uh, in terms of like the X displacement here. But we have to make an assumption. We have to assume that the X is staying the same, all right? So let's just say, so here we basically have like two triangles, okay? Here's one triangle, all right? It turns out that we actually know the angle in here. Now the angle, if this is 34.3, remember, this was 55.7. And if you notice then here, right, the this angle and this angle are equal, right? They're opposite interior angles, whatever the heck it is. Uh, vertical angles maybe? No, vertical angles. So the angle in here now is going to be, the angle in here is going to be uh, 55.7, okay? I also now know something else about uh, this diver, right? That also creates a nice little triangle there. All right. 
And in that particular case, we know the depth. We know this side is going to be 2. Okay. Uh, we also know now that uh, <clears throat> this is also x. Okay. So why don't we now create two equations that relate these sides together maybe, okay? So for the, for the black one, we're going to have the tangent of that angle, 55.7, is equal to the opposite side of that angle, which is the y, that's really what we're after, over the x, okay? In the bottom one now, this angle, right, we're talking about the opposite x over then 2, right, because opposite over adjacent. So now it's the tangent of 25 is going to be equal to the x over now the 2. So remember, the whole goal here is to solve for y. So what I'm going to do is solve this for y. All right, so y will then be equal to tan of 55.7 multiplied then by the x. All right, and then what we're going to do is solve this for x. So x is now equal to tangent of 25 multiplied by 2. And realize now I can basically take this value and substitute it on in here, and then I can go about and calculate. So y will be equal to the tangent of 55.7 multiplied then by the tangent of 25 times 2. Okay? So tan, tan, 55.7 times tan, 25 times 2. About 1.37 or so. So y here is about 1.37 meters. That's the depth, okay? That's the apparent depth below the waterline. Thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate it. Give us a hand, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.